In this video, we're going to be making ourselves a fairly simple web page about Taylor Swift's latest CD, 1989. Um, as you can see, this is an example of the web page we will be creating today, and it's just slightly expanding on what we learned in the first tutorial. Okay, the only thing we're going to really add to this is some bullet points down the bottom here, and some text that's in italics. The rest of this stuff you've done before in the previous tutorial. Alrighty, so before we begin today, you need to go into your account and you need to make a new folder called Lesson 2 Taylor Swift. Inside that folder, you need to create another folder called Images. And there's just one picture you need to copy into there, and that's a picture of the 1989 CD cover. You'll notice that I have got some info here. This is just some text I've pre written uh, to save a bit of time later in the tutorial. This is the text that's going to go into the web page. I'm simply going to copy and paste it across to our document. Alrighty, so make sure you've got those two folders created Lesson 2, Taylor Swift and your images folder and you've got the picture inside that images folder okay we're ready to start now so open up brackets and start yourself a brand new file remember to save that file before you begin typing so go to file and save as go into your documents and find where you just created that lesson 2 folder and right there you're going to give it the name Taylor Swift no spaces in the name and don't forget to put .html on the end of the name, just so we know it is a website that we are creating here. Okay, so I'll click Save. We're all good to go and get started. So the first tag we're going to put in today is the doc type tag, just to remind uh, the computer that we are making ourselves a web page here. On the second line, we begin our HTML code. So we put in our HTML tags. Underneath the HTML section we do the head section of course and in there we just need to put ourselves a title. So put in the title tags and it's just going to be Taylor Swift 1989. That's all we're going to put into our head section for now. Okay, so remember that renames the tab in your web browser. We'll have a look at that a bit later. Alright, so down a little bit further we're going to begin the body which is the visual part of the website. This is what we're going to see in our web page. Okay, so let's have a look at this example and see what we need to do exactly. So we've got a bit of text, we've got an image, a bit more text. Down here we've got a numbered list of all the tracks on her album and a hyperlink at the bottom. So fairly straightforward. What I'm going to do is copy the text from this document and just go and paste it straight into brackets and we're going to add some tags to this to make it look a bit better. So the first tag we're going to put in is a H1 heading around Taylor Swift 1989. That will just make a nice big bold heading for us. If I save this, go into my account and just open up the Taylor Swift HTML file we've been working on, we can have a look at how this is going so far. It's going to look pretty ugly because all we've done is given it a H1 heading. The rest of the text is just all sort of clumped together as there are no tags or HTML tags around it just yet. So let's keep going and add a few more tags in here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add in a new paragraph. So you do the letter P. It pop sensation, blah, 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 blah. It goes on for a little while. We'll close that paragraph off. I'm just going to keep copying that P and put it in for all of our paragraphs here. And I'll do the closing P tag as well to show when our paragraphs finish. So I'll just copy and paste them after each paragraph. Actually, I don't think we need one around track listing. I might just leave that off for the minute. We will need one down the bottom though for the click here to buy the 1989 CD. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is just indent these paragraphs so they're in line with all the rest of them. Alrighty, so I'll just save that and we'll give that a test run and see how it's looking. So you can see our document now getting spaced out with different paragraphs, which is good. Next thing we need to do is put a picture underneath our title here that says Taylor Swift 1989. We'll put an image in. So there's our title just there. Move down to the next line and let's write IMG space SRC, which stands for image source. I'm going to write equals. 
and we'll let brackets do the rest. We're going to look inside our images folder and select the 1989 JPEG picture. And I'll close my tag off. Now you probably want this in a new paragraph, so we all need to put the P tags in around the outsides of this image. So that piece of code there makes a new paragraph and inserts the image 1989. If you hover over it, brackets will give you a preview of what that picture looks like. So I'm going to save it. We'll do another preview to make sure that picture's loading correctly. It's a pretty good size, so I might leave it at that 250 by 250 pixel size. Okay, so far so good. Let's go down a little bit further and do a bit of editing into this writing down here. Now, we have a quote here from Taylor Swift. Okay, and I want to put that in italics. So the way we do that is we use the tags EM. Okay, and EM just gives our text a bit of emotion. So I put the starting EM tag before her quote, and after her quote I'll put in the closing EM tag. Okay, and if I save that now and preview that, you'll notice that this line just here will change into italics. So watch that closely when I refresh it. There we go. We've now got emphasized text. Oh, sorry, emotive text as it's in italics. Alrighty. Down the bottom, we've got click here to buy the 1989 CD. Okay, we need to put in a hyperlink for the words click here. Alright, so what we're going to do is open up a bracket and write A space href equals and then in quotation marks we're going to write in the website where they can buy this CD. I don't know the name of the website off the top of my head where you could buy this CD, so let's just link them to Taylor Swift's official website. I'm sure you could buy one from there. Okay, so it's ahref equals and in quotation marks right in the website address you want this link to go to and close your brackets. Remember this little A tag appears just to close off our link. We need to remove that from there and put it after the words click here. That way the words click here become the hyperlink. Okay, so that's the code we just added in. If you do want it to go into a new tab when you click on that link, remember, put a space after the quotation marks just here and write target equals underscore blank. That little piece of code just says open up a new blank tab when we click on that link. So I'll save that again by pressing Control S, going back to my web browser, and we can see we've now got a hyperlink here. Okay, my internet's ridiculously slow, so it's not going to load too fast, but you can see it's going to taylorswift.com and it has popped up in a new tab. Alright, you could sit there and let that load, but we don't have time for that, so I'll just close it off. The next thing we're going to do is edit this track listing down here. Okay, we need to get the tracks on her CD into a nice logical order. So what I'm going to do is bump track listing across and once I've bumped the track listing across, we will make ourselves a new paragraph. I decided against it earlier, but I think we will make a new one there. And we also, we're going to make this a H3 heading. So remember, H1 is the biggest heading we can have. H3 is about midway, so it's a little bit smaller than the H1 heading, but not the smallest size we can go. So let's save that and see if that actually looks any good. We'll go back to our browser here and refresh it. Yeah, that's not bad, track listing there. Alrighty, so let's keep going. Now what we're going to add in here, I'm just going to actually highlight all these tracks and nudge them across a bit. What we're going to make here is an ordered list, which is basically numbered bullet points. So down on the next line, I'm going to put in a tag that says OL. That stands for ordered list. Okay, the closing tag for the OL will just go at the bottom down here below our list of songs. Okay, and on the next line from ordered list, we can start to write in LI tags. And what they are, they stand for list items. So every bullet point you've got, or you want to have in your code, will need LI tags around it. So I'm just copying and pasting these LI tags next to each song. This is basically inserting a bullet point for each song. You'll see what I mean in just a sec. Alright. So what we've started is an ordered list, which is numbered bullet points. 
and to make a new bullet point or a new numbered bullet point we have to have the list item tag or the li tag around each song okay so as I go through you can see the tags around each song when I save it and preview it we should see these songs down here all go to a line of their own and have a number next to them okay, just like so so that there is an ordered list it's a list that is in a specific order numbered bullet points okay so that's looking pretty good now just need to add a bit of CSS or styling to this page and we're done so back in brackets I'm going to go up to the body tag and go inside the tag there and we're going to add a bit of style so let's write the word style equals in quotation marks let's start with our background color so background dash color spelled the American way we do a colon I'm just going to choose pink for now as our background color I'll save it and see how that looks not too bad of a color if you want you can go back right click on the word pink and choose quick edit and you can select another color that you think might look good okay, it was a little bit of a dull pink so I might just brighten it up a little bit okay what we're also going to do after this background color still inside those quotation marks I'm going to put a semicolon then a space I'm going to change the font family I'm going to do a colon and choose sans dash serif okay I'll save that and we'll have a look at what that does to our page so we should see a slightly lighter pink for our background and our text instead of having the little curly feet on the end of each letter they should just go to normal block letters okay, a bit easier to read Alrighty, so far that's looking pretty good. I'm finding that the text is a little bit squished in down here. Okay, so what I might do, back in brackets, and back in my style section at the top here, I'm going to put a semicolon after sans serif, and I'm going to select line, oh, sorry, I'm going to type in line dash height, do a colon, and write 1.5 em. And that's basically going to put in 1.5 line spacing for us. So it's going to space the text out a little bit. So I'll go back and have a look. Just watch this text down here in particular. Get a little bit of space between it. Okay. Just spaces our text out. Makes it a little bit easier to read. Makes our page look a little bit more professional. Okay. That's looking really good. Um, I don't think there's too much more we could add. We'll have a look at the original example here. looks fine okay we don't really need to change anything there so I think what we have here is a finished web page um, save it up as a HTML file we'll just file and save actually test it out make sure it's looking good if so you're all done okay just have a quick look at that code make sure you've got it all exactly the same as mine you'll also notice at the bottom down here we've got two closing tags, one for the body and one for HTML. It's basically closing off the body section okay, and then closing off our web page. So hopefully it's starting to make a bit of sense for you. But that's all we're going to do today for the Taylor Swift web page.